College of Medicine offers two undergraduate majors, Physiology and Medical Sciences and Emergency Medical Services. Because Emergency Medical Services is for current certified and practicing EMTs, today we're going to focus on Physiology and Medical Sciences. First, a few fun facts about our major. There are only approximately 14 physiology programs in the United States, so having a physiology major is actually quite rare. And the U of A is the only physiology program in the United States to offer this major through a college of medicine. The Department of Physiology has quite a close relationship with U of A's medical school. Um, in fact, a lot of the classes that you'll take as a physiology student are taught by med school faculty. So what is physiology? Physiology is the study of how the body works, specifically how cells, tissues, and organisms function. So if you do choose to major in physiology and medical sciences, you will build your knowledge of what life is, how to treat diseases, and how to cope with the stresses imposed upon our bodies by different environments. So let's talk about some of our major's requirements. One of the requirements to be a physiology and medical sciences major is to get into what's called advanced standing about halfway in through the major. Advanced standing requirements are two semesters of English composition, so English 101 and 102, or English 109H, a calculus level math course, so Math 122B or Math 119A at the U of A, two semesters of general chemistry, for example, Chem 151 and 152, two semesters of anatomy and physiology, so Physio 201 and 202, and then a major GPA of 2.0, which means getting a C or higher in Physio 201 and 202, and a cumulative GPA of 2.25. Don't hesitate to go to our website to look at our curriculum guides or to schedule an appointment with an advisor to discuss advanced standing requirements more. Once you're in advanced standing, you get to choose from a plethora of physiology electives. Some include exercise physiology, the physiology of aging, cardiovascular physiology, but you can also take elective courses outside the physiology major, for example, pharmacology, biology, or genetics. Outside the classroom, there are lots of different ways to get involved with the physiology major. The most common is our physiology club, but you can also join the physiology ambassadors, which represents the physiology department and interacts with incoming physiology students. If you're an honor student, you can also join the Physiology Honors Academy to be a peer mentor or to put on lots of really great events around campus. Another great aspect of the physiology major is our career preparation program, PhysioWorks. In this program, you start to prepare for careers in healthcare, research, industry, or whatever you're interested in. In Physio 395A, a course you'll take in the spring, you begin to explore opportunities to get involved outside of the classroom and ways to get hands-on experience related to a future career. In Physio 395B, you start to reflect on those experiences you secured in Physio 395A and start to practice interviewing, build your resume, and even start to write your personal statement for medical school. So what happens after graduation as a physiology and medical sciences major? Lots of our students end up going on to a professional program such as medical school, dentistry school, optometry school, PA or PT school, or onto another graduate program if they wanna focus more on research. But the possibilities are really endless with a physiology major. You could become a physician, but you could also become a nurse or a lab technician, a science teacher, a medical illustrator, a science journalist. In fact, one of my favorite examples is our student Akshay, who graduated with his major in physiology. He is now a medical researcher on the Dr. Oz Show, as well as a medical journalist. He has had his work published in many popular news outlets. Two things he says about what he liked about the physiology major is that as an undergrad, you're offered an exclusive look into what it's like in medical school. Learning about anatomy and physiology at such an early stage was exciting and certainly made med school much less intimidating. He also says that physiology faculty took simple principles and applied them to real world scenarios that allowed me to directly see the applicability of what I was learning, something that was often hard in college. Before we end our presentation on physiology and medical sciences, I wanted to give you two more opportunities to hear from students, Devin and Maya, about why they chose the physiology major. How's it going everybody? I just want to talk about the reason why I chose a physiology major. 
um, coming in, I wanted to find a major that would be most beneficial for applying to medical school, and I felt like physiology did that. Uh, now that I'm in the actual physiology major and taking a lot of physiology courses, I realized that I was not wrong, that the curriculum here um, is really applicable to like everyday medicine and something that I really, really like because um, talking to a few of my friends that are in the medical school, like a lot of things they're learning, obviously like in the physiology sense, I learned it now and that's like the best part of the physiology major and the reason why I like it so much. I think my favorite thing about being a physiology major is that we just have limitless opportunities to do whatever we want with our degree. We could go become a doctor or a surgeon. We could go into physical therapy or become a physician's assistant. Or we could even become a professor at a university and teach physiology to incoming students. It's just there's a freedom in being a physiology major because we don't have to become one thing. We can become whatever we want with a degree.